Welcome back everybody to Harvest Cove. Harvest Cove? Yeah, that's what we called it. In Farming Valley. That's right, that's the mod pack. Right, it is now Friday. Uh, let's talk to Granny Caitlin. Right, we're going to talk to her shop and... Oops. Uh, I forgot that the uh, Petal Apothecary is 5 million coins. Millions. I'm not going to be able to buy one of those yet. So, sadly, with a heavy heart, I have to return to the fields. Very sad, very sadly. Oh well. Now, what I did do in between times, I actually bought a stack of wheat seeds, which cost me somewhere in the order of about 10,000 coins. More or less. And I bought uh, 16, well, 17 stacks. Uh, packets of onion seeds and 16 packets of corn seeds just to vary up the uh, things I can do. Now the corn seeds I believe are, are like a 12, 12 day turnaround so I should be able to only get uh, two uh, crops out of that and I think the onions were the onions were eight so I might be that's 24 days I should be able to get uh, a turnaround of about three there three times so there is that so in between well basically the first thing I did Friday morning was come out and watered and nothing was uh, able to be grown so I bought, bought the seeds uh, let me see where was I going with that yep oh uh, that's right that wheat field Considering I planted it progressively through spring, I'm not going to be able to get a full three uh, crop rotation per, for this year out of that, sadly. It would have been nice, but... Oh well, you do what you can do. Uh, it's probably not necessary to water... and then plant seeds. I just like to do it that way. So corn, 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 corn. And corn. A bit more. So this is pretty much what it's uh, boiling down to. Making huge crops, crop fields. Uh, exploiting said crop fields. And building even more big crop fields. Pretty much. Uh, eight. Eight. So hang on. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, no, one. Okay, we go one more. Whoops. I can't. <laughs> it has to be. It has to be correct. It has to be square. If not, I will go a little bit bonkers. And uh, I'm also not uh, not alone playing this mod pack in a peaceful setting. It's actually rather rather soothing, if you ask me. Yes, you do have a, a progression type thing that you have to get try and get done, but um, yeah, I might actually. Can I? Oh, I'll be kind of close. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's one. Oh, well, bugger. Uh, not entirely sure where I was going with that. But this is where I'm going to be planting my onions. Okay. Right. So there's that. Uh, do I have some dirt? Oh no! Oh, oh, stuck, stuck. Oh, oh, stuck, stuck. No. 
Come on, we can do this. All right. So it's going to be a bit of an odd shape. <laughs> well, bugger. We can manage. Well, I'm going to have to. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Uh, seeds. So, yeah. Not much progression made except more farming, more farming, and more farming. And even more farming. Do, do, do. Actually, it might, I might be able to uh, see if my uh, my scythe is ready that would be nice well i'm going to make a cut right here and uh we'll cut back when uh, things are i've got something to something to show for myself well welcome back everybody uh, this is what a copper uh, scythe will do it seems to be a three wide um oh man a magnet would be nice uh ring of magnetism or something along those lines would be fantastic um hang on L let's let's explore this little idea oh yes it's Britannia or Britannia or Britannia. <laughs> well, bugger, we're not going to be getting that anytime soon. But that's pretty damn cool. Copper Scythe, really cool. Choose choose up for quite a fair bit. Actually, that was uh, I only uh, like picked that up only yet yeah, just today. Well, during this day anyway, and. That's got about 30% already. So that was pretty damn nifty. Definitely quite nifty. So, yeah, it's back to watering, back to planting, and yeah, chilling out as, as you do. Be right back. Well, I guess this has kind of been a rather shortish episode. There's really not that much happening right now, apart from me planting huge acres worth of crops, harvesting them, um, managing them, watering them, uh, sleeping during the day. I mean, yes, I'm getting a de decent income. Um, I would, I'm, I'm guessing once we get to a really uh, a, a good sum of money um, probably getting to the stage of actually having the blast furnace to be able to make steel so I can uh, generate power uh, re renewable power with the um, the water mills from immersive engineering then I could probably consider uh, maybe trying to branch into the forestry side of things see how that uh, works out um probably actually maybe even do it like a forestry uh tree farm that may be a thing i'm not entirely sure how the uh the the electron tubes the uh, tubes of the forestry how they work um the fabricator itself i might actually just look into that while i'm thinking about it fabricator no, we can construct this. Uh, all these things uh, can be bought at the blacksmith. Gold ingots. Okay, yeah, I can do this. I just need power. So is getting enough money together to be able to buy the uh, blast furnace. So this is probably going to be me for a while now. So hopefully by the end of this week... I'm recording this on Monday. I should be able to have another episode ready by Saturday. And uh, we might be able to see some more progress. But this is what it is really boiling down to. 
day in, day out, massive, massive, massive farms. I've got uh, space over over yonder. I can extend the farm farm out uh, like further out that way. But uh, yeah, the, the the whole wheat thing is working out for itself. I am able to buy a stack of wheat seeds and plant said stack of wheat seeds. It's just going to get to the point where I'm not going to have enough time in a Minecraft day to go water everything and harvest or replant, that sort of thing. So it's going to come down to a bit of a time management side of things. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, where I'm at. Well, uh, okay, guys. Well, if you like the episode and like the series thus far, do go ahead and click that like button for me. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, why not? You've enjo obviously enjoyed my work so far, so you might as well. I don't intend to be leaving YouTube anytime soon. I've been doing this for about four to five years. I plan to do keep doing this these kind of content videos for until the the day I the day I stop breathing. And uh, yeah, also if you're interested in anything else I've done in the past, playlists over that way. Check them out. All right, folks. Well, I've been Ray Tech. I'll see you next time.